What's going on guys? Welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about if there's such a thing as a bad training drill, what that would look like, and how you can avoid them. But before we start, I just wanna let you guys know that this is all my opinion. Unlike many of my other Two Minute Tuesdays, there's no scientific test that you can really look up to see the difference between a good and a bad drill. So this is all just my subjective opinion on what makes a drill good or bad. So let's put the time on the screen and let's get started. In my eyes, most drills out there are actually pretty decent drills if they're used effectively. I kind of go with the mindset that even the most crazy or ridiculous drills that you see sometimes on Instagram or YouTube or wherever are still improving those players' skills more than a player just sitting on the couch doing nothing. That's a big belief of mine, so I want to make that very clear. But I do consider a drill bad if it falls under three different categories. If it's dangerous, if it teaches improper technique, or it's just ineffective at improving the skill that you're trying to improve. Let's get the obvious ones out of the way. Dangerous drills. I was once about 13 or 14 years old and my coach put a ball between two of us, then we stood about 10 yards apart from each other. And then on go, we would sprint in full speed and then slide tackle and crunch each other at the ball. That's a bad drill. There's far more effective and safer ways to teach the slide tackle technique. And don't get me wrong, soccer is a dangerous sport. There's always a chance for injuries, but any drill out there that increases the chance or the risk of injuries is a bad drill. Improper technique. When I was doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching a few years ago, I once had a player come up to me and tell me that he was taught to dribble with his toes facing straight down and hitting the ball with the top of his big toe. They were taught this wrong technique by somebody out there. So any drill wasting a player's time ingraining the wrong technique, maybe even a dangerous technique to a player, is a bad drill. The last one of the most important topic for this video is ineffective drills. And this is a tricky one because it really depends on what the goal or the aim of the training session or drill really is. An incredibly bad drill and improving one area of your game might be an incredibly effective drill at improving another area of your game. For example, the Ronaldinho drill is one of my favorite drills and it's an incredibly useful drill at improving tight space control, tight space dribbling, foot speed, and even endurance. But it's an absolutely terrible drill if your goal for the session is to improve 1v1 attacking or dribbling while scanning the field trying to find a pass. Every drill is a specific drill with a specific purpose. Another example, going through an agility ladder, weaving through cones, jumping, doing a whole bunch of agility type movements, and then finishing off this entire thing with one pass or one shot on goal is an incredible, incredible drill for improving game realistic conditioning and maybe even finishing or passing while fatigued. But but if your goal of the session is to improve the technique of that pass or that shot, then ditch all the wasted time and energy spent doing the agility drills and do a hundred more reps of just rolling the ball out and hitting the pass or rolling the ball out and hitting the shot. I'm not saying that any of these drills are bad as a whole. What I'm saying is that you need to find out what your goal is and use the right drill to train the most effective way. But having said that, I really don't want you guys to overthink this too much. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I have a big belief that touches on the ball or touches on the ball and hours spent outside training or hours spent outside training and again realize that even the most ineffective drill will still improve you more than the person sitting on the couch scrolling through instagram critiquing that very same drill how'd i do on time so i hope you guys enjoyed this two minute tuesday again if you guys are making your own training session or making a training session for somebody else just make sure that your drills are not dangerous make sure that they're not teaching improper technique and if possible try to make them the most effective form of drill so that it can improve the specified skill or skill set of that training session if you like this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe and i'll see you on the next video all right guys peace